Oh, we're done. Okay. Hey, friends. We are going to do a little canning adventure today. I bought strawberries. It is not strawberry season here in Northeast Mississippi. The baby agrees. But I wanted to make this. It sounded really good. And um, Becky over at Acre Homestead made this probably, I guess, a year ago. I'm like going through her old videos. And I, it looks so good, especially when she said that she added it as a margarita. Tequila and treat. So I wanted to do it today. I have some time. I think it would be super fun. Um, so yeah. Uh, it's in this, um, the all new ball book of canning and preserving. I have it, uh, I have a few, you can't tell, marked. Um, it's been a while since I've posted a true video on here. So if you don't know, my name is Cheyenne. I am a homesteader, stay at home mom, and I homeschool my daughter. Hold on, let me find this recipe. And we currently live in a rent house, so I am homesteading out of a rent house, but we make the best of it. One day, I will have um, my own land. I found it. This is going to be what we're making and canning today. It says the recipe makes about five one pint jars. We're gonna be using our water canner for this recipe. So as I mentioned, we do homeschooling. So part of today's homeschooling is going to be teaching her to water back can um, and preserve, preserve food. So that's what today's lesson is going to be about. I'm using my dad's apron. You wanna back up so we can show them? Here's our aprons. Like after you do five of those, push over the stuff. So push over to me. You know where it won't slip out of your hand? Yeah. Okay. Hey, that knife is sharp. Move your fingers. Nope. Right at the tip. But I don't want to cut you. You're not going to cut me. Move your fingers. All the way down. Push them over the Some left in there. Uh, that looks not good. I'm gonna knife Awesome. Oh. Okay. Want to note cold hot water? I need those to be frost. Okay, so we've got our strawberries washed up, and we're gonna get them cut up in probably half sizes. Actually. I'm going to weigh these out real quick to make sure that we have at least three and a half pounds. I'm going to measure this out. I'm going to measure this out in pounds, so let me change my units over. Okay. We're gonna put her on there and cross her out. Okay, let's slowly add some. I only need three and a half pounds. And 
almost there. Not even close. Not at all. Oh wait, I'm at a pound. We might only be making one batch and that's okay. Alexa, what would three and a half pounds be in ounces? Three eight on the dot. So it says now we've placed the first. We're gonna place the first three ingredients in a six quart stainless steel or enamel Dutch oven. I do have my um, stock pot, my pine and woman's stock pot. I'm gonna put it in. But we need three and a half pounds of strawberries, which we got. Three cups of water and one cinnamon stick. I don't have a cinnamon stick. I do have cinnamon. Um, so we're going to kind of alter that just a tad bit because I don't have any cinnamon sticks. So I'm going to add my strawberries first. And then we're going to take three, the three cups of water and put it in here. Okay, here's my three cups of water. And then we're gonna take a teaspoon of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. Because as I said earlier, I don't have, um, what's it called? I don't have a cinnamon stick. Okay, so that's a half. And one full teaspoon. I was not able to make a, um, Two batches, I didn't have enough strawberries. That's okay. This will work just fine. I am going to take this little spatula here and kind of just mix a little bit. Okay. Our instructions suggest to place the three ingredients, bring to a simmer over medium to low heat, cook uncovered for 20 minutes, stirring occasionally, but do not boil. So. I have a electric stove. I'm going to put my electric stove for a medium to low heat. I'm going to put it on a four. Four works great for me. And then we're going to get this to a simmer. Once we get to a simmer, we're going to place a timer for 20 minutes. Alexa, stop timer. So my timer just went off. We're going to now remove from the heat, line a wire mesh strainer with two layers of Dampen cheesecloth or a jelly bag, place over a bowl, pour very much in the strainer, and let it drain for two hours or as needed to extract six cups of juice. We are going to discard the solids, but I have something special planned for those. We have our cheesecloth here, I dampened it. And then this is my little strainer. I need a bigger one, but this is what I have for now. I'm gonna pour this in here slowly. We went ahead and had lunch, and now I'm just trying to get the rest of this juice into to drain. 
This part truly takes the longest, featuring the baby in the back, but we will get through it. I am saving the dried out. Oh, look, I actually have some juice left. Hold on. There we go. Okay, I am saving the dried out strawberries for popsicles for my kids. I mean, the last time when I did strawberry jam and it was a hit in this house. So that's what this bowl is holding. We're almost done waiting on the rest of this to drain through. I had some extra strawberries that we're going to just kind of chop up and put here in this um, squish strawberry mixture. Again, this is for the kids, but it's nice for them to have little chunks of um, whole strawberries in there. So, I am just going to chop them up and pop them in here to go in there with the, your um, frozen pops. Can I show them? Yeah, show them. Okay, so there's these special ones for like the circle ones. Mm -hmm. They have circle ones at the end, and they have roses on top of them. It looks like a rose. It looks like a rose. I don't really know what it is, but I think it's a rose. She, what she means is it makes, um, whenever we put the pops in there to make the, like, strawberry um, popsicles, the bottoms of them come out as roses. Um, we figured that out this last time. Yeah, so. I told my mom. Here, I think I it see. looks disgusting, but I it's I'm giving it you know multi. I got it. Look, I'm giving these strawberries multi uses here. All right, that's what it looks like. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. So we are done, and oh, one more. And then there are the normal ones. We are. This recipe does take a while, and really, it's just the uh, <laughs> waiting for the juice to extract from those strawberries, but. And it makes a mess, but luckily we've been washing and dryer. That's what we look like. Let me show you what we add to it. Take sugar, and I'm kind of, I really just eyeball it. Right, so that's probably about two-fourths a cup of sugar. Okay. And then I take, I take us some meal, probably about a cup and a half half maybe or a cup and we're going to about 400 mls of water this is filtered water and so we're just going to mix it up really really good so you can get all of that that sugar mix yeah it looks gross at first huh no, i was about to say it kind of looks like the pink cream the pink, the pink drink, drink or like um strawberry milk yeah but this was chunks yeah strawberries in it and then let me show you guys so that's what we look like hold on i've got to try to pour it in there okay okay now we're just going to keep mixing until that sh that sugar is all dissolved and now we're going to pour into our pops put it and pour it in there There we go. Scoop it and pour it. And it's extremely, I mean, it's a lot healthier than going to the store and buying them. And it, it's giving me a good way to repurpose these strawberries. Um, can you tie this for me? Give so me one help. second here. Oh, I'm going to lick that. Ooh. As soon as those come out, I'm going to eat. Okay, hold on. That's how good they are, guys. And I bet but y'all love it okay and then this one comes with the tops i've actually lost quite a bit of the tops already so i take where are they at oh, also the behind the fridge. yeah i just take these cake pops and pop them in there i'll show you in just a second what they look like let me get a few out okay, one two they're also like whenever you Get one of those suckers, they're like one of those. All right, can you tie this? You just pop it in there just like that. And it will freeze. 
and then you repurpose strawberries. Okay, we're going to take lemon juice, one third a cup of pure lemon juice. We need to put this back on the stove to dissolve. I'm going to mix it up because it all has to dissolve. The sugar has to dissolve anyways. So we're gonna let that keep going until she is all ready to be canned up. Y'all, it smells like banana bread in my house because while I was waiting on all this to get done, I cooked up some banana bread because I was running out of, I mean, my bananas were growing really bad. So anyway, I'm changing things up a tad bit. Um, I didn't have the corn syrup. And since I am new to canning, I wanted to be extremely careful and not can it without all the ingredients present. So I'm going to be freezing a freeze safe jar here and then keeping this in the fridge because I'm sure it will be used a lot. Um, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're just going to dump them into these jars. which is totally fine by me. I have a little bit more left. Um, hold on. still have enough for a tiny, I have a little jar. Let me go get that little jar. Y'all be careful. Finished it off just right. So, because we're not canning, we're just gonna make them like this tight and move them over to the side. This is my homemade spray. Yeah, just throw that uh, Ziploc bag away. It's got this strawberry crumb on it and I'll just throw it away. It is overdue nap time for that little monkey. Yes, I'm talking about you, monkey. I really hope you guys enjoyed making these with us. I'm glad that I'm going to be able to freeze up a majority of these and save a minor one. I'm glad I didn't add the corn syrup anyways, just because I think it would make it too sweet. Um, but if any of you have tried it, please comment down below if you liked it, because I, li I would like to try it and can some. For now, we're just gonna stick them in the freezer. Um, we'll probably wait till tomorrow once they're like fully, clear, uh, fully cooled off. And then we'll put this one in the fridge because 
I feel like I'm already ready to make some strawberry um, lemonade and a margarita. But I truly, truly hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time, friends.